Today topic is what is the rate of reaction, the rate equation and the rate constant or the specific reaction rate constant. First, let's see what is the rate of reaction. So, the rate of reaction for the homogeneous system is defined as change in the number of moles of any reactant or product of the reaction per unit time, per unit volume of the reacting fluid or reacting mixture. From this definition, we can write the formula of the rate of reaction as minus Ra is equal to minus 1 divided by V into dNa by dt. So, this formula of the rate of reaction is change in the number of moles of any reactant or product of the reaction per unit time, per unit volume of the reacting fluid or reacting mixture where minus Ra is the rate of reaction of reactant A. Na is equal to number of moles of reactant A. B is equal to the volume of reacting fluid or reacting mixture. T is equal to reaction time. Now let's see, how can we write the rate of reaction for reactant and product? For that, consider irreversible reaction as small a times a plus small b times b gives small r times r. Now, as we know, in any reaction as the reaction proceeds, reactants are disappear and products are formed. Hence the rate of reaction may be expressed either as the rate of disappearance of the reactant or the rate of formation of the product of the reaction. Hence the rate of disappearance of the reactant A, that is, rate of reaction of reactant A, can be written as minus Ra is equal to minus 1 divided by V dNA by dT. Here the minus sign represent as the reaction time increases, that is, as the reaction proceeds, the number of moles of reactant A decreases. So, as we know, for constant volume batch reactor, volume V is constant. Hence we can write 1 by V term inside of the derivative. So equation becomes, minus Ra is equal to, minus D dt of Na by V. But as we know, Ca is equal to Na by V. Hence rate of reaction of reactant A can be written as minus Ra is equal to minus dCa by dt. Now, let's write the rate of reaction for reactant B. So, rate of reaction for reactant B is minus Rb is equal to minus 1 divided by V dNB by dt. Here, minus sign represent as reaction proceeds, that is, as the reaction time increases, the number of moles of reactant B decreases. So for constant volume batch reactor, volume V is constant. Hence we can write the rate of reaction as minus Rb is equal to minus D dt of Nb by V. But as we know, Cb is equal to Nb by V. Hence the rate of reaction of reactant B can be written as minus Rb is equal to minus dCb by dt. Now, let's write the rate of reaction for product R. So, as R is the product of reaction, hence, rate of reaction for product R, that is, rate of formation of product R is RR is equal to 1 divided by V dnR by dt. In this equation, there is no minus sign, because, as reaction proceeds, that is, as the reaction time increases, the number of moles of product R, increases. So for constant volume batch reactor, volume V is constant. Hence we can write the rate of reaction as, RR is equal to DDT of NR by V. But as we know, CR is equal to NR by V. Hence the rate of reaction of product R can be written as RR is equal to DCR by DT. So that's all about the rate of reaction. Now, let's see what is meant by the rate equation. 
the rate law or kinetic expression. So, the algebraic equation that relates the rate of reaction, that is, minus Ra, to the concentration of species participating in the reaction is called the rate equation, rate law, or kinetic expression. As we know, minus Ra, that is, the rate of reaction with respect to reactant A, is the function of the concentration of reactant and temperature. Hence we can write, minus Ra is equal to, the rate of reaction with respect to reactant A, is equal to, K into, the function of the concentration of reactant. So, minus Ra, is equal to, K into, F of, CACB. So, consider reaction A times A, plus B times B, gives, R times R, plus S times S. So, the rate equation for this reaction written as, minus Ra is equal to K into Ca raised to power N A into Cb raised to power N B. So, this is the rate equation for the given reaction, which relates rate of reaction, that is, minus Ra to the concentration of the reactants, where K is proportionality constant. It is also called the specific reaction rate constant or the rate constant. And Na and Nb are power of concentrations of reactant A and B. Now let's see our last topic. That is, what is meant by the rate constant? Or, the specific reaction rate constant. So, the rate constant of a chemical reaction is a measure of the rate of reaction when all the reactants are at a unit concentration. It is represented by a small k. So, as we know, rate of reaction is equal to k into the function of the concentration of reactants. So, according to the definition of the rate constant, if we assume concentration is equal to unity, then we will get rate of reaction is equal to k, where k is equal to rate constant or the specific reaction rate constant. Hence, from the above equation, we can say that, the rate constant of a chemical reaction, is equal to, the rate of reaction, when all the reactants, are at a unit concentration. Now next point. The rate constant depends on the temperature. Rate constant increases with increase in temperature. The unit of the rate constant, depends upon, the unit of concentration and temperature. Now let's see, what is the unit of the rate constant, for nth order of reaction, zero order, first order, and second order of reaction. So, we will first find out, unit of the rate constant, for nth order reaction. Hence, for nth order reaction, the rate equation is, minus Ra is equal to, minus K into, Ca raised to N. So, we can write this equation as, K is equal to, minus Ra, divided by, Ca raised to N. As we know, minus Ra is equal to, minus dCa by dt. So, equation can be written as, K is equal to, minus dCa by dt, divided by, Ca raised to N. Now let's write, unit of right side term, so that we get, unit of left side term, that is, unit of K, so equation becomes, unit of K is equal to, unit of minus Ra, that is, mole power liter, into, 1 by S, divide by, unit of concentration, that is, mole power liter, raised to N. After solving this we get, unit of K is equal to, mole power liter, raised to, 1 minus N, into, 1 by S. So this unit of K can be written as, unit of K is equal to time raised to minus 1, concentration raised to 1 minus N. Hence this is, unit of rate constant that is K, for nth order reaction. From this we can find, unit of rate constant for any order of reaction, by putting values of N, like, N is equal to 0, for 0 order reaction. N is equal to 1, for first order reaction, 
and n is equal to 2 for second order reaction. Or, we can find unit of the rate constant for zero order, first order, and second order reaction in the same manner as we calculate for nth order reaction. Now let's find unit of rate constant for zero order reaction. For zero order reaction, n is equal to zero. Hence, for zero order reaction, the rate equation is minus Ra is equal to K. So, we can write this equation as K is equal to minus Ra. As we know, minus Ra is equal to minus dCa by dt. So, equation can be written as K is equal to minus dCa by dt. Now, let's write unit of all term. So, equation becomes unit of K is equal to unit of minus Ra, that is, mole power liter into 1 by S. So, this unit of K can be written as unit of K is equal to time raised to minus 1 into concentration. So, this is the unit of the rate constant for zero order reaction. Now, let's find out unit of the rate constant for first order reaction, where n is equal to 1. Hence, for first order reaction, the rate equation is minus Ra is equal to K into Ca. So, we can write this equation as K is equal to minus Ra divided by Ca. As we know, minus Ra is equal to minus dCa by dt. So, the equation can be written as K is equal to minus dCa by dt divided by Ca. Now, let's write unit of all term. So, equation becomes unit of K is equal to unit of minus Ra, that is, mole power liter into 1 by S divided by a unit of Ca, that is, mole power liter. After solving this, we get unit of K is equal to 1 by S. So, this unit of K can be written as unit of K is equal to time raised to minus 1. So, this is the unit of the rate constant for first order reaction. So, similarly we can find unit of the rate constant for second order reaction. So, that's all about rate of reaction, rate equation and rate constant. If you like my video, please press the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.